week. Another episode, another time Ethan's not at home. Mr. Worldwide, he's just a traveling man. Hey guys, what can I say? I go up in the sky, 30, 35,000 feet. I hover up there for a little bit, maybe have a little snack, maybe take a piss. And then I come back down in a new area. Hmm? Nobody hmm. does it quite like me. Man, flights sure are exciting. <laughs> you get a snack, they you are. piss. <laughs> You went, you went to Vegas. How long is a flight even from L.A. to Vegas? From L.A. to Vegas, I traveled from the beautiful Bob Hope Burbank Airport. Uh, oh. I was, we, uh, once we hit our cruising altitude, we were uh, in the sky for about hour, hour 15 minutes, hour 20. Left, wow. uh, left the Burbank Airport at uh, 5.05 p.m., touched down in beautiful Los Vegas, that's where I am. Lost Nevada. And, uh, we landed a little bit early at uh, at about 6.15. Uh, weather <laughs> was sunny, and the sky was turning pink, the beautiful sun. Hey, now, movies have told me that if you go to a place that has a lot of sand and desert around, it's piss-colored. What? When you go... The in, sand? Yeah, like when you go in a movie somewhere... And like every time people go to Mexico in movies, it just gets piss colored on screen. Because oh, they're like, hey, did you yes, guys know like we went to a place bad. with sun and desert? It's like, why doesn't <laughs> LA ever look like that in a movie? That's all LA is. Why is everything yellow? Everything has a really intense yellow yeah. orange hue to it. According to movies yeah. and TV shows, Mexico is just sepia. <laughs> mm hmm. That's how else would we know that we're in Mexico yeah. if it's not orange everywhere? Yeah, we is could that, be anywhere else. They just even when they cross the border, like the next scene is just yellow. Is that just like a big, giant yellow hologram as you go through it? Yeah, it's a big. It's like how would I how would I describe it? It's kind of like the Nether portal, like when you go through <laughs> that. It's very similar. So if the nether portal was yellow, that's kind of what it's like going into um, right. a desert kind of area. Yeah. The you, sky. Have to, you have to like cross the border and then just like wait a couple of seconds and you like go all wobbly and wispy and then you load in. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you have to make sure that you're not touching anybody else when you go through it mm. because you might you might mesh together, you know, mm, because it's like the fly. when you're going through the portal. Yeah, exactly like the fly. I watched that movie the other night. Is that why it's, it's in your wild head? wild movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. Have, have you seen that movie? Not since I was a kid, and it was even weirder back then. <laughs> it's so weird, and it just, it never stops escalating. Nope. <laughs> Once Jeff Goldblum does the little teleport thing, he just turns real fucked up really fast. Yeah, it's like watching the Chernobyl show again, and people just melt he just, it's like a whole movie of watching a man melt. Yeah, it's wild. And he's crawling around on the ceiling and then he's doing gymnastics and stuff. And it's pretty cool. He's super horny all the time. All he wants to do is fuck. Well, see, Jeff that's the thing. Because that movie's made by David Cronenberg. And we watched a movie, la we watched Infinity Pool last night, which is by Brandon Cronenberg, his son. And it's just TNA everywhere. It's like every time I see All Mia Goth time. in a movie these days, she has to have her boobs out, and I don't know why. It's like, Mia, you're a good actress. Like, you don't need to get your tits out all the time. And it's just, there's a yeah. big fuck fest in the middle of the movie, and it shows, like, a prosthetic vagina with a penis coming out of it. Not going in. <laughs> there's full penetration shots. There's a full hand job scene where you just see a penis coming. How it's weird. How do they do that? Is it a real penis with real semen? Yeah, I Coming mean, it looked it? real. Hmm. hmm. I mean, d does it matter if my brain thought it was real? It was real. <laughs> just like Dumbledore said, you know, he's like, is all of this real or is it just happening in my head? Dumbledore's like, what's the difference? Ari, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 remember, when, remember when they're in that white void and Harry Potter is like, is that a real penis or is it fake? And he's like, does it and matter, Harry? Dumbledore's like, does it matter if it's Alexander Skarsgård's actual penis or they got a porn model or it's made out of clay? You thought it was real. 
And the cum smelled real. How do they credit you in the movie for that? Cock insert. <laughs> Cock insert. Cock double. Oh, did, do you think they had to have a fluffer on site? I think you're called a dill double if you're in it as a penis. <laughs> <laughs> dill double. Proud of that one. That was good. That was very good. That yeah, was very good. either way, Cronenbergs are horny as fuck. Yeah, they're so obsessed with flesh. <laughs> they love that shit. They yeah. really, really like it. I don't think they're obsessed with flesh. I think I think they're obsessed with turning flesh into something else. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, it was called Infinity Pool. Infinity Pool. Um, did the did the sex add to the plot, or was it just kind of there? I no. I I think a little bit of it maybe because it's all about like hallucinating and power and. Why it is real and what isn't. It's like a little bit of that's fine. I get it. I know what you're going for. But there was like, the scene was like five minutes long. I'm like, I get it. Like, did I take in a hallucinogen? It's like the end of 2001 Space Odyssey when he's going through the light tunnel. It's like, I, I get oh, it. I don't need tunnel. to keep seeing this for 15 minutes. Hmm. You know? <laughs> just, <Yeah>. just me? <laughs> in the fly, Jeff Goldblum, he gets... You know, he does the teleporty thing and he gets morphed with the fly. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, the whole movie, he kind of wants to fuck all the time. But I was thinking about that where I'm like, are flies, because he definitely gets hornier. And so I was like, <laughs> is is it because he's getting stronger and he has more energy and stuff? Or is it because, like, are flies horny? Is that is that why they're always doing the little thing? With their hands? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to <I'm> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That's why they're always good landing on sugar, and they're like, uh, "Sugar daddy's here, baby." <laughs> Damn, flies have infinite riz. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's that why they're able to see bridge. like all around them all the time. It's like anytime they need to like cat call someone, they're able to like fucking see it. They're like, hey baby, what up? Have What's we ever flying around your head? Have we, have we ever seen a fly? Fuck. We as in the human race. Or we as in me and you, as if we're ever in a room together. It's like have when we've been together, have we seen flies have sex? I don't know. How do they do it? Do they do it, doggy? <laughs> Uh, they do it fly style. They do it in the air. Mile high club. Oh, like eagles? That would be so cool if they did it like eagles where they latch their little fucking lads. legs together. <laughs> <laughs> latch their little lads together. Their lad latch. They spiral. They so spiral eagles down. Do? That'd be sick. Yeah. I'm going to Google eagles having sex and it's not going to have in Minecraft afterwards. I I'm almost I just scared myself with the mirror behind me. Um, <laughs> I I think they go up in they go up really really high in the sky. Okay, as they do. There's one. There, there's two pictures of evil eagles having sex here. Two of them are on the ground, and all the versions of eagles having sex in the air just look like dog fighting. <laughs> they look like they're killing each other, but it's so cool. How do birds have sex and it's just a picture of an eagle shitting with like a very good picture of his <laughs> asshole? <laughs> I don't like that I searched that. But they only have one hole, right? Bird cloaca. Cloakers. Yeah. If you're well, from any cloakers here. <laughs> shout out <laughs> Shout, shout out, out Cloakers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, those are people that go to, like, a specific type of music festival, the Cloakers. <laughs> that does sound like a music festival. Oh, dude. Oh, Coachella. You go to Cloaca. Cloaca. <laughs> Cloaca. Yeah. It's like Kendrick Lamar at Cloaca. It was sick. Got my first tattoo at Cloaca. <laughs> I actually got my I first DMT ear piercing. Joe Rogan at Cloaca. I got my first ear piercing at a music festival while Metallica were playing. Isn't that the most metal thing ever? Did they have a little Claire's there? With the little with the little gun? No, no it was that. just a, a guy with yep. a needle in his hand. <laughs> was this I I almost said was this sanctioned. Was this <laughs> a real piercing place? Or was it just a guy? You know, it was a piercing place, but it's at a festival, so it's like a tent. But like everyone's going mm. in and getting pierced. It's all I mean, my ear didn't fall off. I didn't go septic. So which yeah. would have been on brand. 
If I even have one sip of alcohol these days, I feel like I'm gonna die. I can't party like I used to back in my college days when I was in college. Yeah, you can't even say I used to party like 1999 because you weren't old enough to party back then. No, I wasn't. How old were you in 1999? 1999, I was three. And you still can't hold your liquor. What's wrong with you? Oh. I know. Waking up the next morning with a headache, dry mouth, sore throat, tummy a little achy, groggy. So achy. How were you able to do it? How were you able to go out and have the night of your life and wake up the next day still feeling fresh and energized and a-okay? Because as I'm drinking or after I'm drinking before I go to bed, I drink a little thing called morning recovery for more labs. Morning recovery from more labs. Is that the yeah. thing where they did the con clinical study and people who drank it felt up to 80% better than those without it? You've heard and read correctly. It also contains super herbs, vitamins, minerals, helps you bounce back, and a proprietary blend of electrolytes to rehydrate you. Because when you're out drinking, you're getting dehydrated. I don't know if you've ever felt that before. Oh my gosh. I'll wake up the next morning, mouth drier than the Sahara. <laughs> the Sahara. The Sahara Desert. Well, if you go to morelabs.com and use code BRAIN, you can get 25% off your first order of morning recovery. That's morelabs.com and use code BRAIN, B R A I N, for 25% off your first order. Of you can morning treat yourself recovery. well. Body's a temple. Be nice to yourself. Hydrate. <laughs> Was that with your gauges? Yes. I you... had no idea what you were talking about for a sec. <laughs> That's how you started your gauges? I went, Metallica were playing, everybody, it was the last, it was like the last act of the entire festival. They were the headliner. Everybody was pushed to the front. We couldn't even get near them, even though I was like mm -hmm. fucking 500 meters away and I could still feel the pyrotechnics go off. It's scary shit. Hell yeah. And then I was like, I want to get my ear pierced. I want to do it. I want to be heavy metal. I want to do something dumb on the last day, last thing, got my ear pierced. I think I got my left ear pierced. And this was like when I was 18, when people were still like, huh, you got the gay ear done. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you what? talking about? What are you talking about? Or I got the, the right ear done, something. I can't remember. This shows how much I didn't know that was a thing, because I have no idea which ear it was. Did you have to start with like a little... It always looks like little bones. Yeah, I got like a, a snail shell spiral thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but I got, I got so one cool. ear pierced because I was like, I don't want to get both pierced because then I can't sleep on one side. Do you remember what song was playing? Uh, no. Sad but true, probably. Story of my life. Get my ear pierced. Man. For whom the bell tolls, that's... baby. I was just like, oh. He was like, hold still, fucking weirdo. I need to pierce your ear. And I was like, you can't control me. <laughs> what festival was this? It wasn't Cloaca Fest. No, it would have been cool. It was called Sonosphere, which was the first time they ever did it. Ooh. They had all the coolest acts. They had Avenged Sevenfold, which is why I went to it. I saw the drummer play the last live event they ever did before they died, uh, which is pretty cool. They had Bullet for My Valentine. They had Alien Ant Farm, Lamb of God, Linkin Park, Metallica. I got to see so many cool bands that I always loved. That's awesome. They had a band I... called Tesseract that were fucking playing in a small tent. And that was the gig that I got too close to the speaker and my ears were hurting. And that's what gave me tinnitus. Oh. Hell yeah, baby. Heavy metal, baby. Ear damage. That's your canon event. That was <laughs> sick. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the way that your tongue moved when you did that, it was so... <laughs> <laughs> you do it. For do you it. Do it with me. Listeners. Do it together. <laughs> oh, it's someone's not a you. cunning linguist. Someone don't got that wrist. Oh. Nobody, <laughs> nobody do cunnilingus like me. <laughs> <laughs> what that cunnilingus do? Flies can't do that. Cunnilingus? Yeah, no, there's no way. Do they have tongues? Do they have mouths? I've never thought about this before. Isn't it like a proboscis? Like a... 
Oh, I think you're right. They have like a little suction cup. Yeah. You saw, you watched the fly. What did Jeff Goldblum's mouth do by the end of it? Well, he was mostly like throwing up the whole time. Flies do that. He was, he was like, he was like, yeah, that's what he was doing. He was like, I tried to eat solid food and it hurt me. And I realized that I had to do this thing. And then he like films himself and then, uh, what's her name? I can't remember. Stort Little's mom. (laughs) <laughs> the, uh, Mary the other actress. Little. Uh, fuck, what's her name? I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember who's... Gina Davis. Gina Davis. Uh, hey, you got that right on time. Right on time. Yeah, she's there, and then she's like, wow, you really like fucking a lot. This is going on way too long. And he's like, ah, I'm a fly now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fly! <laughs> I gotta movie. fuck! <laughs> Yeah, but then, oh man, sorry guys, I'm about to spoil the fly, but then she gets pregnant with his baby, oh. and she's like, oh fuck, what do I do, is this gonna be a fly baby, and then she has this dream that she's giving birth, and a giant larva comes out of her. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it's is it that awesome. different than real life? Yeah, it kind of looked like, honestly, the shape of it, it it looked like a baby swaddled in a blanket. Yeah, if you, you gave... Seen- Birth during the fetal stage? That's basically a larva. Oh, but it was big. It was like this big. Oh. It's a huge like larva. A grub. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, on, it was like somebody on Fear Factor had to eat that for a challenge. Eat the fly baby. Fear Factor was a cool show. I liked Fear Factor. I liked watching them eat spiders and crawl around and... Dude, I've been saying, I think that's where Mr. Beast content is going next. It's just going to be like, I paid 10 people to eat five babies... Whoever ate the baby first, there's going to be, there's going to be a Mr. Beast video. Jimmy, if you want this idea, go for it. There's going to be like food related ones where it's like Matt Stoney eating a shit ton of food or mm-hmm. I don't know, like a baby. How much can a baby eat? <laughs> How much can a Matt Stoney eat? How many babies can oh. Matt Stoney eat? <laughs> like the logical conclusion has to get there. I mean, probably if we're okay, everyone. We're looking at this technically. Matt Stoney can eat a lot of food. Okay? Mm. How much does a baby weigh on average? Seven pounds? Something like that? He could probably eat a few babies. I, I work in metric, so. Ah, uh, yeah. It's I like don't know how many kilos. Three and a half kilos. kilos. He could easily. He could put yeah. down three or four. Like, what's the volume of his stomach? I, I swear he's had, like, you know, people are like, Marlon Manson had two ribs removed to suck his own dick. It's like, I think Matt Stoney had like 10 <laughs> ribs removed just so he could eat a baby. <laughs> Is that true, the Marilyn Manson thing? I don't think so. I've, I've heard that it's not true. I like yeah. that rumor, though. I yeah, don't I don't like him. No, no. Um, uh, but luckily, we don't run in the same person. circles. <laughs> we, we I, I'm at like a restaurant eating food. He's drinking the blood of the innocent at a cult meeting. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and then sucking his own dick after. <laughs> yeah, he's like, watch this. <laughs> Matt Matt Stoney's there being like, yeah, you can do that. Watch this. Watch how many I babies can I can eat. Ten, I can eat ten plates of spaghetti in two minutes. This yeah, Matt sick. Stoney's great. Why are we going in on him so much? He just seems like a nice guy. <laughs> oh, he seems like a really nice guy. He but baby like want nice his guy. joke now. Baby want to make his fun. Here's a question. Hi. Yes, you. I have a Ethan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, my question is, if you entered in a hot dog eating contest, how many hot dogs do you think you could eat? I'm I think gonna, it's 10 minutes. I'm going to throw my hands up and say that I would be garbage at any food related competition because I, I I have like acid reflux issues and I get really nauseous really quickly from things. So, I think I would get like 3 hot dogs in and be like Thanks for the free food and <laughs> just leave. I think, well, here's the thing about it is when you're doing the hot dog eating contest, you eat the hot dog, but then the bun is the thing that's crazy because yeah. they dunk the bun in water. Oh, God. it's like, it's just not fun. It's like, it's like, you know, when you play video games for your job and it can become really monotonous and repetitive, that's them. It's like, man, mm-hmm. eating is my job now. And then you start dipping it in fucking water and you're like, where did the passion yeah. go? 
Do you think that any of those, specifically the hot dog guys, do you think they ever eat a hot dog to, to, for pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, Maybe for oh. pleasure was the wrong word. but <laughs> You can very pleasurably eat a hot dog. It's one of the more phallic-shaped foods. But that's well, just it's, so sad. Your question is two-part. Do they eat hot dogs for fun? And can they give incredible head, I think, is the next logical question that we need to ask. Oh, my God. Matt Stoney can probably give crazy head. <laughs> God, he really yeah. gets all the way down. They call it the stoner hmm. boner when you, when you go into town on it. Um, I think I'm going to relate to my own life, if I may, mm-hmm. if, if, if the court will allow it for a second. Yes. Sustained. Will allow it. Okay. I used to get a Twix bar for lunch every single day as a kid. And now okay. I fucking hate Twix bars. If someone hands me a Twix bar, I would consider, I would rather not eat it than eat it. Like, do you have a food like that that you've eaten too much of and you're like, I burnt myself out on this food? Yes, I have that with root beer. Mm. Um, I had a big root beer phase when I was a kid. And then Sarsaparilla. there was one time... There was one time. Is that what root beer is? It sarsaparilla. I think so. It's like a root. Sarsaparilla root. And that's where they get the root beer. (sighs) No, it's actually an equation to get to the root of flavor. That's why they call it that. I just Uh, so happened to coincide with yeah. mm, I can't do math. But yeah, (sighs) Yeah. I drank too much root beer, and then I threw up everywhere on Fourth of July, and Mm. now I can't. I can't do root beer anymore. Tastes bad. Yeah. I get that, yeah. And now I have Twix bars, and Evelyn's like, oh, Twix is so good. And I'm like, no, it's not. You're wrong. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you don't get it. That's not, <laughs> that is not correct. Because <laughs> according to the encyclopedia, <laughs> Ooh, that's what you sound like eating a Twix bar. <laughs> <laughs> that's what good pussy sounds like. I've been going out recently coffee shops out in public Wi-Fi and I've just been going out there willy-nilly and I keep getting my information stole everywhere I go. Who stole in your data? The little creepy critters out there. They're stealing my IP address, stealing all my passwords. There's nothing I could possibly do. There is something you can do. You can use NordVPN. It keeps you safe. And I bet you have not, you're like, oh, I'm not using a VPN because they're always really laggy and they don't really work. NordVPN, fastest VPN in the world. You won't even know you're using it. There's no buffering. There's no lagging. You can even oh. stop your uh, your ISP bandwidth throttling you. You're out someplace and you're like, ooh, Wi-Fi is so slow because they know you're trying to do shit. Well, I mean, that sounds great, but that must be so expensive. NordVPN, you stupid man, is the price of a <laughs> cup of coffee a month. You're going out to the coffee place and you're getting the coffee, but you don't realize you could be protecting yourself for the same price. Oh my gosh. And well, that's cool. You can use it on six devices. Laptop, phone, another phone, another laptop. <laughs> and you're just over the halfway point. <laughs> <laughs> it even says here on the thing that I'm reading that NordVPN can save you money by purchasing subscriptions from other countries at a cheaper price. I didn't actually know you could do that. N- that actually makes me feel dumb for not doing that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I wanted to grab a huge discount off of my NordVPN plan and get a uh, two-year plan and receive four bonus months for free and a no-risk 30-day NordVPN money-back guarantee. Well, the link would be in the description box, and it would be nordvpn.com slash brain. It's funny, oh. it's funny how you read the other part, but you couldn't read where to go. I, it's, I don't know what happened there. Was that nordvpn.com slash brain? Yeah, like, you can see the same thing I can, right? Like, it says that, it says nordvpn.com slash brain. Huh. For the, with every purchase of the two-year plan, you'll save four bonus months. Yeah, it's interesting how you're reading it again. Like, money-back guarantee, 30 days, risk-free. Mm-hmm. Huge discount. Yeah. NordVPN. It's, it's even in capitals. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Dude, you could you could have a whole conversation just with vine reference to vine reference, like a leapfrog of vines. 
<laughs> we should do that one day. We should do that. Just record first, an entire episode and see how quick people get it. First person to not be able to get a reference. Ooh, Ooh. that's a good video. You know? Ooh, mm. we should do that. Ooh, we should talk about it. We should. Ethan bought tickets to come to good old Brighton Town. We're to not going to say when, Town, baby, because don't fucking come near us. <laughs> no. Well, if you see us out and about, but you yeah. can come near us. But if like, don't plan your a trip around it. Just don't be weird. Don't <laughs> yeah. don't go all like sniper don't wolf pull. on us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm coming coming over to the UK. Gonna film some stuff, do a little podcast. We we can do, do the a vine one. The videos. We can do the Vine one. We can finally do the fish and chips. Yeah. Video. We'll, we'll talk about it and then not actually do it. We'll be like, it was raining that day, so we didn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> it rains every day here. Also, Can't Ethan came over and then we just kind of wanted to hang out and have fun and go to the pub and yeah. not really record our lives. Yeah. Whoops. Didn't get anything done. Whoops. Sorry. All bangers. <laughs> Oops. All bangers. I'm very excited, though. It'll, It'll be, be good. It'll be very fun. You come in here be at the time. behest of winter. It's it's suddenly like a light switch got really cold, and now it just pisses rain all the time. That's kind of nice. Oh, I forgot about that. That's going to be real nice. Anyway. I'll get a little taste of winter. Because I brought up her name and we talked about it last week, mm. there has been stunning uh, progress in the Sniper Wolf Jax films thing as of an hour ago, which yes. was YouTube... Demonetizer for a week? Was it? I can't remember if they said a time frame. I, Tempor temporarily I see... unmonetizable. Yeah, temporarily Jamie, pull it up. I'll read the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull it up. I'm Jamie. I'll read it. Thanks. Yeah, Jamie, pull me up. They said, confirming Sniper Wolf, uh, they address her by her full legal name, SS Sniper Wolf, has received a temporary oh. monetization suspension for per- Per creator responsibility policies, off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk harm our community and... And here's the kicker. Here's what really gets the fucking salsa steaming. Is they said, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. I don't think that is warranted to say both sides. I would also say the same. And it's like, it was, uh, both sides? Like, we were talking about it last time, and I kept saying, like, Jack's Films things got a bit nitpicky, and people didn't like that I said that, and that's fair, because everyone has a horse in this race, and whatever. Whatever you feel about it, the videos he was making, I don't think any of them fall under not allowable content. It's parody, and it's critique. Yeah, and I think for YouTube to be like, we don't, uh, we don't like the actions of both parties. It's like, okay, you could not like Jax Films making those videos, but um, what he is doing compared to Sniper Wolf literally doxing him, it's like, th you can't really compare the two of those. I don't, I don't yeah. think that's fair at all. And Yeah, it's not the same at all. Plus, if you didn't like that he was doing that, why didn't you say anything sooner? Instead of when she, yeah. she doxed him and then cried wolf. And now they're like, both people are bad. <laughs> both sides, <laughs> both sides very bad. That's a bit dumb. Because they also did the fucking what? tweet and both of us replied to it, which is like, what if we did a reaction video to a reaction video? It's like, you two, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, baby. I loved, which was my response to the tweet, but the community notes on it was so funny. Fucking so dumb. Good. Dumb, I, dumb. I was thinking about that and I was like, was this tweet maybe like scheduled or something? Because... I it don't had understand. To be, but if it was, then they probably would have deleted it, because that's what they do. It's just like, how would you post that tweet and not realize, like, unless you're intentionally trying to poke the bear, like, that's just a bad call. Yeah. Very, and, very bad call. And the way you phrase this saying, off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, 
Yeah, that's what she did. And harm our community, that's what she did. And the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. They didn't specify, so all you can do is conflate that they thought it's like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, YouTube. Oh, Bwado. What is you oh, doing? Bwado. What are you doing, YouTube? Come I, on. I like YouTube as a platform. I like that it pays the most out of any of them, and we all get to do this as a job. But fuck you! <laughs> That's yeah. so stupid! Also, I, th I think if they're going to, you know, give her a little slap on the wrist, it should be... I guess they didn't say technically how long the temporary demonetization is, but it's probably like a week or something. And I think it should be longer. Yeah. Um, also, with Sniper Wolf, um, it's not like she's hurting for cash. No, so, and she uh, did respond to it as well, which I feel like we should at least be a little fair in this. Oh, did she respond to it? Yeah, she put out a tweet saying... Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jax Films, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Which is a bit weird to put incredible in there. Um, mm -hmm. Jax Film, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I'm sorry for reacting the way I did when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately, not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. I'll reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it, respect the decision, and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. Which... As far as responses go, pretty decent. Yeah. I know a lot of people that's, probably won't take that and they'll be like, go oh, fuck off anyway, and people will, people have their pitchforks out anyway and they'll won't accept that, but I feel like yeah. if she had done that earlier, it would have been good. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to be that guy a little bit. I don't think she wrote that. Probably I not. think that, that was probably a like PR thing being like, here's a statement that you should release. Yeah. But hey, accountability. But account know. Accountability's in there. You say sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't really ask for more. Now you have to follow up on that. You can't just say it and then not actually yeah. have a decent conversation. So I hope they talk about it. I hope they act like adults, which I feel like Jack probably would have been fine with from the beginning if you just did that. Yeah. Um, interested to see where this goes, um, because before this, it didn't really seem like she wanted to have a conversation about, like a real conversation about it. Yeah. And I'm um, sure people will argue sure, we'll that see. it's only because you got demonetized. Now you're doing it. And it's only because you got in trouble. Now you want to have the conversation. But I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm down for, well, I was going to say giving people second chances, but Sniper Wolf has been in a lot of things a lot of times. So I, I don't know. I I, of, I'm not in this <laughs> conversation. Yeah. It, it really doesn't relate to me or any of us. It's between them. I hope, hopefully they can hash it out in private like adults, have a nice yeah. firm handshake at the end and say, hey, mm. good put her, put her there. Job. Ain't that just the way put of things? There. Put her there. But um, I, speaking don't, of, I don't know what the resol resolution is, and it's also kind of scary that YouTube were like, hey, Critiquing and parody are now weird for us, so. Yeah, it, did, it just doesn't make sense. I want YouTube to come out with an apology now. Say, yeah. Hey, sorry. YouTube doesn't ever apologize for anything. No, because they, do more they can get into a lot of legal trouble by saying sorry for things. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I imagine actually. a lot of the reason YouTube says things the way they do is for legal reasons to kind of absolve themselves because yeah. they're supposed to be safe harbor. So they can't really get involved in many things. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Actually. We all know that hair grows on faces. I mean, look at me. I'm a mess. I me. just haven't had a solution to figure out how to get rid of this. Oh, how do you do it? <laughs> 
Well, I use some high-quality razors from my friends over at Harry's. You know, you're probably, you probably haven't shaved your face because you're using these razors where once you hit the eighth, ninth shave, it's all dull. You can't even shave a hair. Dude, it's like sandpaper. It's like trying to shave my face with a blunt rock. Mm-mm. Not with Harry's. Not oh. with Harry's. They've got high-quality German-engineered blades that are shipped right to your door. And with Harry's, their eighth shave with those razors, just as sharp as the first. Damn, that's crazy. Then I can actually shave my face and figure out if I have a chin under here after all. Mm -hmm. This could be a nest of bees. This could be spiders. <gasps> you could be Spider-Man. That would be awesome. You'll never know until you shave off that hair and find out what's underneath. You know, in the times I used to shave, I remember cutting my face all the time, going to school with little squares of tissue paper on my face. It sucked because either the blades were dull or the shaving cream sucked or the after balm care didn't work. It was all terrible. I hated shaving my face. That's why I let the free bird fly. That and I have a weak mm -hmm. glass chin. Well, even if you have facial hair, you got to do some little, you got to do a little bit of maintenance. That's true. All right. And Harry's, these areas. Harry's got you. Right yeah. in those areas, it'll get you nice this, and set up. This patch right here might not fill in, but boy, does my beard really want to grow up to my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do it, some stuff and maintain that with Harry's, baby. Oh, I can't wait. They got a little trimmer on them, too, and it's like a chicka 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 chicka. Mm hmm. And you can try the trial set. It's a $13 value for just $3. Three dollars! That's so cheap. Uh-huh, but it's not gonna feel cheap because it's got that executive weighty handle and these mm. German engineered blades. Listen, stop wasting your time with other razors. Go to harrys.com slash brain. Okay, I'll go to harrys.com slash brain for a three dollar trial set and I'll fix my face finally. Good. Glad we reached an agreement. You're welcome. Speaking of creators interacting, um, I am currently in Las Vegas for TwitchCon. Yeah. Um, today's the first real day, but yesterday was like day zero, and so there was like a couple parties and stuff. And I haven't been to a convention in, in a bit, mm. and I always forget how weird it is. So last night, I went to the partner party, um, and it was so weird. I kept thinking of it as like, it's like if you were to go to, like, a company holiday party, <laughs> but the company is really, really big. And so it's like everyone, like, kind of knows each other. Yeah. But it was so much awkward eye contact where it was like, hi, and, like, acknowledging that, like, we both know who each other is, but we don't really – we've never talked before. Yeah. Or if we it's had, it's like been super brief. Instead of doing like a class reunion, it's like doing a whole entire school reunion where you're all in one room and it's like, I've seen you around in school, but I don't know you. These are the people I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, it's fun. It's cool having everybody in the same place, but boy, is it awkward sometimes, especially yep. with streamers and YouTubers and stuff because none of us uh, know how to Know how socialize. to act. Um, yeah. I'm curious because now you're going to the actual convention today, I assume, or at least going to look around. Yeah. I'm curious to see what that's actually like, because when I went to TwitchCon in Europe, there was nothing to do. <laughs> that's what I'm really interested in, because, like, back when you and I both went to PAX, it's like, okay, there's a bunch of stuff to do. Like, there's people doing panels and stuff, but also mm. there's so many video games and tabletop games and stuff. And Yeah. I mean, it's all video game related or gaming related and so it's all just playing games but there's shit to do whereas like a vidcon is like there's a bunch of merch yeah if you're not there to uh, see somebody kinda... then there's nothing to do yeah so i'm i'm very interested to see what's actually going to be on the floor you can go um, to the elgato booth and look at all the things that you already uh, have i could I could look at their new teleprompter, <gasps> which actually looks kind of cool. I have one right there. In a box on the floor? No, I have took it out. It? I haven't tried it yet, but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, baby. 
everyone who's listening um, and not watching the video version, we'll give you a play-by-play here. It's a teleprompter. Uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty fucking big. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I have the the universal shroud on the back, so you can mount your own camera. <gasps> wow. I saw it. I saw cool. it on Twitter, and I was like, "That's kind of cool. I kind of want one." <laughs> I also kind of want one because do you, do you see yourself in it. Oh, there I am. Look at me. What a guy. Oh, how handsome. <laughs> oh. I, I, the thing that got me excited was that you can put like anything in there. Yeah. And it was like, oh, that's cool, actually. Like putting chat in there is cool. But at the same time, I'm like, do you think that that will be weird for a viewer to go from like, oh, you're looking over in the corner and they know that that's where Chad is to directly it's in like, your hey, Chad. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Darius, thanks so much for the bits. It's so weird. It's yeah, so it'll awful. be a little weird, but it's kind of cool, especially for brand deals for people who are streaming who like need specific talking points. Or a couple of years ago, I had to do the Game Awards uh, award for Valkyrie for like streamer of the year or gamer of the year. And I had to like have lines, but I was doing it at home. And I had to look at the camera and I was like, okay. And I had them like taped on the thing below me. So I had to like look down and up and down and up. And I was like, I want to look at the camera, yeah. but I don't know the thing well enough. Maybe I'll get one because it would <laughs> it would be good um, for both you and I for when we do the ad reads of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like our ad reads. I also like our ad reads. And it's funny because I've noticed that Maybe this is actually now that I think about it. Maybe this is people skipping through them. I'm not sure, but the the bump of like rewatch thing mm. on our YouTube podcast. There's always a little spike in the ad reads. I'm like, ah, oh, are people skipping through it or are people going? I noticed that as well, but I also see that on like other channels I watch where it's like it's sponsored by Squarespace, and it's always like right at the end of that, and after it is the spike. So I think people just mm-hmm. skip ahead, especially if it's time stamped. Yeah. Which I, um, last time you were like, is there any creators you watch? And I was like, yeah, like a couple of movie ones. I completely forgot that I have a whole bunch of like miniature painting channels that I found oh. <clears throat> that I watch. Like there's a guy called Duncan Rhodes who used to paint for Games Workshop and he used to do, and I'm sure if he did the boxes for them, but he used to do like tutorial videos of how to paint them per Games Workshop standards. And now he has like his own paint line and he has his own channel and he does Games his own Workshop thing. Games Workshop is all 40K stuff, right? Yeah, they or made Warhammer. Warhammer. Um, and then there's somebody called the Miniature Miniac who I like. I got th- into him through his airbrushing videos of like commission-based things and he's really fun. And he has a podcast with a guy called Ninjon who I like watching. And they're just really good painters and I like them. Are... What are the videos like? Is it like a tutorial or is it just like silent-ish and it's just you're just watching him paint? No, no, no. Him. It's it's pretty entertaining. It's like Duncan Rhodes' style is very like straightforward and like, and now you're going to want to put this layer on as like a bit of painting and then it cuts to the paint being done and then it's like the next layer and the next layer. But they all do videos <sighs> that are also like, here's all the things you need for painting or here's just a tour of my office or here's like my favorite faction but i kit bashed it with another one so they like merged them together it's cool question for you yes ethan yes i have a question um how easy is it to make stuff in 3d for your 3d printer is it kind of really hard i guess you could commission somebody for what i'm about to say i it, think if you have the file for it the printing of it is fairly straightforward but making something yourself for it, I imagine is a lot harder. I think that you should maybe commission somebody for this then to make a 3D render. Um, I think that for Thankmas, as Mm. a little reward or something to give away, you should get like five different little minifigs made, like custom ones for Thankmas, and then you paint them yourself. Ooh, that's a good idea. You give them away. As a little prize. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll also, I'll I'll print the Brain Leak brain and paint that. Oh, shout out, Leakers. Yes. Come on. Shout man. out. Come I on. I printed the Dancer of the Boreal Valley and finally painted that. 
and that was how long did tricky. the uh, did the print take? Way too long. It takes forever to print anything. I had to print her in f- four different prints. So it's her body, both her arms at the same time, then a base, and then her cloak. And each one of how those you, takes about five to six hours. <laughs> how do you connect them? Glue. Mm. It's the same with like the miniatures when you clip them off the sprues. The the beginner set has like pegs in it that you just stick together. And I was like, oh, sprues. fun. And then the later models I got, they don't have any pegs on them. You have to glue them together yourself. And I was like, I don't have any glue. And now I have the whole fucking shebang. I have everything. I have Tamiya thin cement, thick cement. It's fucking sick. Oh, oh man. You know, pretty soon you're gonna have a you're gonna have a little room, and it's gonna be filled with paint and your big racing sim thing. I got some of the racing sim bits today. The, Did you? The thing that the steering wheel goes on, the direct drive base arrived. It is uh-huh. incredibly heavy. It's like oh yeah. It's like 50 pounds of weight in this thing. It's yeah. it's meaty. I don't have a steering What's wheel. What's it made of? It's made of like proper like fucking race car material. It's like proper like metal. <laughs> I don't know if it's steel or titanium or aluminium or whatever it is. What kind of what kind of steering wheel did you get? Is it like suede or is it just a classic leather or does it have No, no, it's like a, it just it's like a, a Formula wheel? 1 car racing wheel. It's like Oh. It's not round. It just has like the two handles either side, and oh, it has it's just like a yoke, a screen, and it has like a bunch of knobs. It's a screen. Yeah, baby. You gotta know how fast That's you're going, bro. You can put Twitter videos on there. Yeah, That's I'm just sick. gonna watch fucking Subway Surfer as I'm. Driving. <laughs> That'd be so good. And I got the oh, I got so the pedals good. today as well, but I don't have a base, a oh. steering wheel, or any screens yet, so it's just sitting there waiting to be mm-hmm. tantalized. Do you have the seat? No, that comes with the base. Uh, bummer. I'm just a sad little man now. Sad little man with my really expensive toys <laughs> and my privilege. <laughs> I really want I really want a picture of you before you build the thing of just all the parts scattered everywhere and you just sitting in the seat on the floor. <laughs> just huh. This isn't as cool as I thought. Sim racing <laughs> this is boring. Doesn't feel like a car at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited for that. I feel bad fun. for the delivery guy. He was not expecting something so heavy, and his back was about to give out. And I'm like, dude, get your dolly. Like, what? Don't you have a thing? Yeah, get your little thing. Build yeah, a whole when ass you go- race car over when here. When you come over. I want to show you miniatures and painting. Maybe we can do a video together where I teach you how to paint. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Yeah. We have a Games Workshop store in Brighton. We can just go in. They know me now, and they're always like, you're here all the time. (laughs) (laughs) I think we went in the last time I was there. We did. I think. It's next to Bohemia, where we had fish and chips. Oh. Very good fish and chips there. Yeah, Very, very good. I I, I still get emails from them all the time because I haven't unsubscribed from their email list. (laughs) They're nice people. I don't remember why I was on the email list. They do good drinks. They are very nice. They do. We should go there and get fucked up and then paint Warhammer minis. Oh, hell yeah. Stumble into the game. Wow, look at this little guy. It's crazy. (laughs) It looks like he would have treasure in it, but he's got big teeth. (laughs) 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 We should do some classic British stuff when I'm there. Do it all. Mm, stealing like artifacts from other countries and putting them in our museums. Yeah. Yeah. Dividing up homelands for people that we had no business taking in the first place. Yeah. Being shit to the Pretty. Irish for 800 years. You can be <laughs> shit to me for 800 minutes. <laughs> <gasps> we should do... I did a video a long time ago trying a bunch of British tea. And oh. people got really upset about it. Um... This was, this was during COVID. Uh, I I had a bunch of tea delivered, and then I was like, I'm gonna try all this tea. People got very upset because I didn't drink drink the tea right because I don't know I don't know how you drink tea, and I was just I was just doing it raw. I feel like even like did you put you put milk and everything in it, right? No. Oh, straight. Ethan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Because I was like, I don't know how wrong he can do it because people like it like really milky or really strong. And I was like, 
I even I'd probably do it wrong for the people's standards, but yeah, not putting milk in it. You're a fucking moron. <laughs> people were upset because one, <clears throat> I didn't put any milk in it, didn't put any sugar. It was just straight tea. Two. I left the tea bag in. People didn't like that. Oh. Uh, three, I had little, little, little uh, biscuit guys. Uh, ate those raw. Didn't put anything on them, and that wasn't good. Apparently, God, um, it's like yeah, you, it's like you tried to do everything wrong. It's like you purposely went out <laughs> to do I everything swear. opposite. It's like when oh, people play I, like a telltale game. It's like killing everybody. <laughs> That's what you did. No, I you just bad I ending. didn't. No, I didn't okay, know so that. Okay, so we'll do that again, which mm -hmm. you uh, go out and buy my tea first because it's conflict of interest. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I, I need to be the tycoon of tea. The tea coon, as they call yes. me. I don't Ooh, really like that name. Kind of fun. Um, What's. You got new stuff. New yeah. Halloween guy. We got caramel Netflix. ice cream flavor. And it's not, it's like. Wait! It's in the bean. The beans taste like caramel ice cream. So you don't need a syrup. You just grind the bean, put it in, Oh, add some milk, That's you got yourself a caramel flavored drink. I'll have to pick up a bag. Is it only for a limited time or is it yeah. going to stay for a bit? It's for a season, <sighs> for Halloween. Fuck. Um, so it's a limited Shit. drop. You got to go get it. I did a very fun video with... It'll be out by the time this is out with PJ yesterday. PJ and Sophie helped me film a thing in my house, which was a parody of Scream, the intro. I've been talking about mm. to you for doing that for a while. Um, yeah. It's a lot shorter than the original scene because I'm not going to go around for 10 minutes and I didn't have anyone to chase me and I didn't really want to dox myself, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I didn't want to like run through my streets or my yard and then have people be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming out on the street. Yeah, so I I did like a little parody about like what's your favorite blend of coffee, and PJ does That's a fun. very good ghost face voice. <laughs> oh, I bet he does. Um, I bet he he does. just sent it to me well, now, so I'll send it to you after we oh yeah. record this episode. We'll have to we'll have to have PJ on the podcast when I come over. Yeah, there. he also said he was down to help us film some dumb shit while we were here. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, speaking of things that just came out, you released your comic book today. Woo! Comic! <laughs> it it's took not out. you like a couple of seconds to realize. Oh, is it not out? It's, it's not, just announced? It's not out yet. It's for pre-order right now. <clears throat> so it technically like okay. you get it next month, but you can get it now. If you know what I mean. Like you pick up what I'm throwing down. Yeah, give us a little, give us a little spiel, a little elevator pitch. What's going on on those pages? It's called the Alterverse. Story between Jackie Boy Man, Marvin the Magnificent, or the Magician, whatever you're feeling. Those two boys, I haven't done fuck all with them for a very long time, so I wanted to... I was thinking about it, I was like, I want to do Jackie Boy Man stuff, but he's like a superhero in a city. It's like, mm -hmm. I, we could have the budget for that, but you, like, you want to make sure that what you're doing is like... Like, to do even a small thing would cost vast amounts of money for him. Yeah. And same with Marvin, where he's like, you want to do like his magic proper, so you want like the VFX to look good. That costs a fuck ton of money as well. Yeah. So comic books are just a really good, I wanted to do a comic book anyway. I want a comic book framed in my house to be like, I did this. Not really, I came up with the I story, did. but someone else wrote it and drew it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm very excited. That's very, very cool. I think yeah. going that route is like a really cool medium to do it in because... You're not limited by, okay, we need this location or we need this VFX budget. It's just like, no, you just get a good writer and a good artist and yeah, you're off to the races, baby. Because we already had like the universe made and like the characters had progressed a lot from when the community and I were doing them years ago. So it was just a case of like taking the material and like giving it to somebody else and being like, here's what we have to work with. And then they came up with a story for both. And then it was like two different writers and we got on calls a lot to be like, I don't really like doing that, but I really like this idea for him. And like what the character's jobs are, if they even have jobs, what to do day to day versus like their names, their families, like all that stuff I'd never been asked before. And I was like, I should probably figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very and also shout out to Sophie, Turquoise Magpie online, Hell yeah. who's done a bunch of artwork for the egos over the years. And they... 
the artwork that they did for them was my favorite for like what I had in my head. I was like, this is what I think the characters would look like. And then they drew them and I was like, that's exactly what I had in my head. Um, so I brought oh, yeah. them on board to help come up with the story. So they have been building that universe as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Very exciting. Great. I'm excited for it. I hope people like it. Are you allowed to say how many volumes you have planned? I don't know. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Only that these are like a combined story now. But we do have plans for a lot more. So that's about it. Sweet. It will be very fun. Now, now, now go on. Tell them where they can get it. Give them a good old link. Badegg.co. Go there. Just search Alterverse oh, as well. Baby. A-L-T-R. And you'll be able to get it. But Bad Egg are the publishers for it. Hell I assume yeah. if you just search Jacksepticeye comic, it also shows up. And if it hasn't, then why not? Then why isn't it doing that? Yeah, some Does articles about it come up, but not the link. Oh, it's no, it's not on the first page. It will be. Mm. Fucking bad. Oh, it will be. Drive up the, that traffic, dear listeners. Go yeah. on. Go get yourself Go a comic get. book. Go get yourself a comic book, huh? Go on. Yeah. Do it. Get yourself a comic book. Uh, get yourself some coffee. Buy my documentary. Yeah. What else can we shill? Get Nathan's documentary as well. I feel so bad with the amount of shit that I have to promote because I promoted the coffee or the thing today, the comic, and I have to do the coffee thing tomorrow. And I'm like, there's so many things. And we're announcing Thank Miss soon as well. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I always feel really bad when I'm like, hey, here's um, a lot of stuff all at one time. Uh, sorry, whoops. Because yeah. I'm doing the documentary this next week, and then there's a thing coming out um, hopefully near like Black Friday mm. that I've been working on for a bit. I think I've yeah, you showed me you about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I'm like, oh, it's, it's cool stuff, and it's stuff that I'm excited about, but people have to buy it. Yeah. Oh no. Um, and then but, I, I have you know, a YouTube 2 scheduled before the end of the year as well, which I'm oh, really happy with how it turned out, but it's a lot of things. I know, I get it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I know that things are expensive and I know people don't have a lot of money these days. And I know Thankmas is coming up as well. I'm going to be asking you to donate as well. I'm so sorry. All of these things, we try to plan to get them all separated out and then they all happen at once. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, That's what happens around the holiday season. You know? And I really want them to do, do well. <laughs> do you have plans for the Great Hollow's Eve? Other than just watching movies costume. with friends. I, costumes, yes. I think I Ooh. mentioned that we, me and Evelyn have like Jurassic Park themed costumes. Oh, yeah. That's right. And a friend of ours have, has never seen it, so they're going to come over and watch it with us. So that's going to be fun. Also, Who, who's never seen it? It's someone you don't know. It's a Brighton friend. Wow. Sorry. Huh. I'm sorry I have friends Someone outside of you. Know. Yeah, what the fuck? It's fucked up. Um, but they they just never grew up with that or never really got to like watch much many movies growing up, so they never grew up. Yeah. But now they will. And um PJ and Sophie haven't seen Talk to Me yet, as well as those other friends. So we're gonna watch that as well. Cause that yeah, movie I like fucking that rules. movie a lot. It's awesome. I really liked that movie. I also like I those really guys. Really yeah. The Rocka Boys. I, I want to meet them. Yeah. Actually, I have met them. I met them at a YouTube summit in New York, but I didn't know them and they didn't know me, so. Uh, yeah, Talk To Me is very good. I don't know what I'm doing for costume this year. I'm going to a Halloween party, but mm. I have to... I have to... I had... <laughs> I had the idea of dressing up like that sound thing from the the, the <laughs> <laughs> and like a big people stick. would be like, "What are you?" And then I would just like lean over and just go, Bow. "That's and a I great that idea." Kind of funny. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> I think do even that. if you, oh, how would you do that? Because it's just like a big colored stick with white yeah, caps on it, the end. It's just a big old cylinder. Yeah, I think that could be fun. I also th thought about for a second, and I was like, eh, maybe that is a little too close to home. Uh, 
I was thinking about going as uh, a sniper wolf thumbnail. <laughs> I was just going to be my face with a red piece of cardboard behind me. Oh, you should have you with a red piece of cardboard and then a big empty square next to you. So whoever stands next yeah. to you is the thumbnail. And just That's take pictures like... with everybody. And you're like... <laughs> that would be so fun. I think that could be fun. But that's the thing, though, is I'm like, well, it's a Halloween party, I guess. Because I'm like, how am I going to move around? I'm going to bump into so many people. Yeah. God. You also don't want to be, like, the person dogpiling on someone else with a costume. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's fun in that vacuum, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, But, yeah, so I've I've got a couple of ideas. I mean, but. two years ago... Was it two years ago? Maybe further back. I got a squid outfit and then said, my idea was that it was right after Squid Game came out and I was, I posted it saying on Twitter, hey, look, I'm Squid Game. And the idea was supposed to be that I'm a dad who doesn't get what Squid Game is being cool for the kids. And he's like, hey, look, Uh I'm Squid Game. And he just heard about it and then gets a squid (laughs) outfit. And everyone that looked at me was like, huh? And I was like, no, it works on so many levels. You don't get it. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed now. This is the worst. Oh, I'm just an idiot with a squid outfit. I haven't dressed up for Halloween in in a couple of years. I don't think. Hmm. Did I do anything last year? No, I don't think so. I don't even remember where I was. You got to dress up, even if you go to a party, which I think I got invited to the same party, and I was like, I'm not going to be there. I'm sorry. Um, but you you should go dressed up, even if no one else does. Even though those people will dress up, but yeah. No, everyone you just gotta do it because I was talking yeah. to I can't remember who I was talking to today about it I, I had an appointment for something and they were talking about it and I was like oh just dress up with friends and watch movies at home and they were like you just dress up at home and don't go out and I was like that's not weird you're weird it's not like oh. drinking at home alone and getting hammered by myself yeah. it's you're weird not me <laughs> it's the one day that we're allowed to do this Otherwise, it's yeah. called cosplay. I'm Irish. We invented Halloween. I, I, can, I make up the rules. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yourself. Darn. Yeah, it's, it's too much fucking shit on me. There's too much sh- sh- shit on me. Oh, that would be a good one, too. Go, Zach. Yeah. Little crazy character. I'm trying to think of, like, uh, one year I wanted to go as Mr. Bean, but I didn't know. And mm-hmm. then it was like, Evelyn, you go as Teddy. <laughs> oh. How many people are going to dress up like the driving crooner this year? That's going to oh, be a hot ticket item. Oh, that's going to be a hot commodity for sure. Mm-hmm. What is the... Because be Squid good. Game was like the thing one year. Like everyone got the Squid Game tracksuit. That was yeah. two years ago? Mm-hmm. What was last Which year's? As far as Stranger Halloween things? costumes, maybe... Yeah, then, what's, uh, what's even know what, happened this year? I don't year? know what the hit thing is this year. A lot of people are going to come with the talk to me hand. Uh-huh. And they're going to like sit down with their friends and be like, talk to me. But then you just dress as yourself. <laughs> Man, that would be really cool. Making a giant, like, out of paper mache, like a big ass fucking hand that you stand in and you're walking around. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh. And then people, people, the hand can progress as the night goes along because you carry around different colored Sharpies with you and you have people write stuff on it. Write their names That's on it. That's cool. It's like you broke I, your arm in fifth grade. I feel like I could pull off a good Alan Wake because now he just looks like Keanu Reeves. He just has a beard and long hair and all you need is a black suit. Mm-hmm. But I don't think anyone would care or get it. <laughs> I think I think you could go above and beyond more than that, you know? John Wick? It's just a black suit. Yeah. Like, if it's just a black suit. I just gotta some, dress up in a, fun. a crazy. black suit, get my hair all wet, and then limp around everywhere, and I'm John Wick. Mm-hmm. And then I gotta, like, have a gun that I keep ejecting the magazine sideways out of. <laughs> Speaking of uh, dressing up, uh, you you did that video with Dan and Phil <laughs> the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that came out. I don't know. When did you actually film that? It's probably a while ago, yeah? It was like four days before it uploaded. So oh, okay. P- PJ edited it, and he edits really quick. Because he's the one mm-hmm. filming it, so if he's editing it, he just knows what to do. But yeah. yeah, they asked me like a week before that if I wanted to be a priest, and they were coming somewhere in Brighton to film a thing with PJ. And I was like, absolutely, I want to be a priest. <laughs> this is so good. As someone who was an altar boy growing up, 
and went to church a lot and watched his Father Ted. This is like my catharsis. And I then, need to start watching Father Ted. Dude, we're going to watch Father Ted together when you're here. Okay. That's the plan. Oh, man. I can't wait to come over and we can watch a movie in the cinema room. Unless it oh, breaks it finally the works. And the projector's not broke, which it probably will yeah, be by the yeah, time you get yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it yeah. just get fixed? No, I got fixed like four days after you left. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, it happens. Oh well. What, what do you want to watch? What's the first movie you want to watch? Hmm. First movie I want to watch. First movie I want to watch. That's a good question. Uh, hmm. Because there I is, it's like the... proper like theater room stuff with like widescreen and good audio is like different than my favorite movie. Because I, my favorite movie is Hot Fuzz, but it's not the yeah. best movie to watch down there. What's your go-to movie? Because I know that your go-to movie sound wise is Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, Blade Runner 2049 is a pretty good mix. Oh, that's pretty good. Dune is pretty fucking solid. Um, I would be down to watch Dune, honestly. I haven't watched Dune since it came out. You can watch Dune. We'll watch Lads Dune. watch Dune. That'd be fun. Hell yeah. Uh, first movie I watched down there was Blade Runner 2049 with Felix. So take that uh, for whatever first, information you want. <laughs> first uh, movie marathon that I did on my... Uh, in my little cinema room, uh, was the Twilight series. Not, oh. not by my choice, but <laughs> I've been I mean, I've been jonesing for more them. fucking Twilight Z- or Twilight Zone. Twilight. I want to watch Twilight again. The first Twilight movie I legitimately like. It's really fun. It's, and like, yeah, it's like also fun to dunk on. But like, they're fun movies to watch. We could wa- we could have a Twilight marathon. Yeah, because I think. PJ and Sophie want to watch Twilight again as well, but it's, yeah. I think the first movie really encapsulates that like Pacific Northwest autumn vibe. Uh, it really encapsulates the color blue. <laughs> it really so makes well. you feel like you're a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw, uh, you know how people currently are doing a lot of like the AI generated images of random celebrities like in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the Steve Danny DeVito Harvey one. <laughs> yeah, they're all really funny. I saw one of uh, of Bella and Edward uh, in random places eating spaghetti, <laughs> um, like viciously <laughs> eating spaghetti. It's very funny. Yeah, I don't very like AI, funny. but I hate that some of those are like, oh man, you can only get this with AI and they're really good. Evelyn sent me one on Instagram that came across her feed that was Gandalf on his horse chasing Gollum in night vision. (laughs) And it's like Gollum like really up close to the camera, like, oh fuck, and Gandalf's like all angry at him. I love that. That's really good. That's so good. But I hope no artist's stuff was stolen to make that. Yeah. I I also I really do like the memes of like the AI generated like Mr. Krabs wearing like Balenciaga and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, "Man, who knew that I'd be so lonely after making all this money?" <laughs> <laughs> Cuz that suits him really well. Yeah. What well, like he Mr. Krabs has so much money, but he's he doesn't use it for anything. He doesn't live in like a mansion. He doesn't have sports cars. He doesn't He lives in an anchor. Yeah. He doesn't belittle the poor like all the billionaires we know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do any billionaire shit. You know, he's he's kind of the ideal billionaire, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. He doesn't doesn't buy a social media platform and run it into the ground. (laughs) We know canonically, I'm pretty sure from what I remember in the episode, that he is a millionaire. Because there's an episode where he's like, this is my me millionth dollar. Ooh. So he he has made a million dollars. He's a millionaire. That's now, true. So many people, so many people might pull the card of like, well, Ethan, he doesn't have a million dollars in cash. That's like his assets. You yeah, know? his, his but, net worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you know. If he sold the business, if he, if he sold his yeah, house. Every, everyone's yeah, everyone's always like, whatever. your net worth is like $200 billion. It's like, you can't go to a bank and take out like a billion dollars. 
That's not. That's not what it had. That's not a work. That's not how Mr. Krabs rolls his money. Yeah. Okay? Who knows? Mr. Cra- maybe Mr. Krabs has alimony to pay that we don't know. Maybe he has a kid that he doesn't treat properly. What are the chances that the Krusty Krab is a drug front? Oh, the special ingredient in Krabby Patties. Uh huh. Mr. Bullshit. Krabs all about all about money. I think that he's using the Krusty Krab to launder. Yeah, it's a fucking meth ring for sure. Breaking mm-hmm. crab. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's like Ozarks. I can get Jesse. We got him, Cook. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Ah, oh, that would be so cool. And Mad this Clancy on the podcast. is not me meth. <laughs> and he throws me against the wall <laughs> and explodes. <laughs> and Squidward is too cool. And he's like, ah, tight, tight, tight. <laughs> oh, God. Someone out there needs to make a SpongeBob Breaking Bad edit. Yeah, and the worst part is that I feel like all of the people who act in SpongeBob would be so down for parodies like that. Oh, but yeah. Their publishers and people probably don't want them to do it because mm, keep our children I safe. S- the children are fucked. I They're on social media all the time. See. They know what a sex is already. It doesn't matter anymore. The- their brains are rotting from the inside out. Yeah, so and no we're so helping. Hell yeah, baby. The podcast uh, by morons for morons. I still want to see. Then they'll never release it. They'll never out of, let it out of the fucking Nickelodeon vault. That episode where SpongeBob and Patrick are learning swears and yeah. they're swearing for real. I want. <laughs> let Patrick say fuck. Yeah. Let him do it. Shake your fucking ass, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do a SpongeBob impression. He's just uh, standing I there even... fucking menacingly. <laughs> fucking menacingly. Maybe it's uh, the way you dress, you fucking dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> I... Your Patrick is pretty good. Thank you. I have a moron voice. I can't voice. do many impressions. I could do Trump a little bit, and that's in. Yeah, That's but it. it's not so much about doing impressions. It's about being able to manipulate your voice, which I feel like you're pretty good at. You have a good command over your range, which a lot of people don't. It's not about being able to do impressions. It's about being able to manipulate the people around you. Yeah, gaslighting your voice. Because mm-hmm. um, exactly. there's a lot of people that have like really deep voices and people are like, man... You must be able to do all kinds of things. It's like, nope, the, all they have is the deep voice, and they try and do something else, the and their voice doesn't work. Mm. Too much bass. Yeah. I just, I, I walk around my house just imitating the sounds. I went outside to spray paint a miniature earlier, and a car honked outside, and I went, huh? And I walked outside, and everyone was just giggling at me. And I, I realized there's so many times I do that. I was getting into bed the other night, and I, I go like, huh? For a lot of stuff. Like, I'll <laughs> I'll put something over here, and I'll go, hi And I'll put something down. <laughs> but I was getting into bed, and I went, <laughs> And I, I stopped, <laughs> and I went, why did I do that? And Evelyn was just, like, taken aback. She didn't know how to react to it. I was like, what made my brain think that going, <laughs> at the end of that was a funny thing to do? <laughs> like I, <laughs> It was, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was it's fire. Very funny. But I don't know why I did that. It wasn't like, I'm going to do this and it's going to be hilarious. I just did it. Yeah. Man. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know why either. I also make sounds all the time. I, I, should, I should go around with... I should set up random cameras around my house in every room, <laughs> and maybe maybe like a GoPro on or something, and just do a compilation of me making random noises. And I think that you should do the same, and we should see how many noises. What's our what is our platter of noises that we make? I I'm uncomfortable <gasps> about this idea because I don't want to see myself oh. in a different light. Because I I find myself charming. <laughs> But then, oh man, then then you can see like what what noise do you make more than any other noise? Oh, that's a good one. You know, you can rank them. Ooh. And then the viewers at home, we can do we can do a brain leak, like kind of like a fantasy football 
<laughs> thing where they draft the noises. Fantasy football. What noises, what noises do you have on your on your team? Mm. What little nibblers are going on in here? This is how we make a billion dollars. This is our billion Jeez. dollar idea. This is the billion dollar idea. This is it. Right I here. think it wouldn't work because the sound I'll make the most is whatever TikTok sound I've heard that week or whatever like dumbass nonsense thing I've heard that week. Mm. Like What's I because I played Spider-Man 2 recently <clears throat> and his Venom symbiote Spider-Man just sounds like Matt Pat. I keep going around the house being like, don't tell me how many calories I can have, bitch. Because <laughs> that's the one <laughs> clip of him. Or like, he's going to wish he never came to New York. It's like, that's just their angry voice. And I can't unhear it. And I, that's all I've been doing. I am so excited to get home from this trip and play Spider-Man. It's not that long. I finished it yesterday. <laughs> really? It only took me like 12 to 15 hours to get through the main story. It's pretty short. But then they're going to give you DLC and they're going to blah, blah, blah. Well, blah, blah. we'll see because the DLC for the first game sucked. It was just like, go here, kill true. like 10 enemies. Go here, kill 10 enemies. It was really boring. Well, now that you finish it and now that the game is out, without without spoiler, just on a number, what would you rate 10 it out of, 10. out of 10? Really? 10 out of 10? Yeah, it was incredible. There's, oh, there's yeah. things you can Sweet. nitpick, like the... The camera was a bit wonky and some of the combat was like, because you can parry things. So like so many enemies are fighting at once and like the red thing above your head is like, well, I'm getting shot and I can parry at the same time. So I have to do one or the other. Um, and that stuff got a little annoying and I, I ran into a lot of bugs, but I was playing a pre-launch build, which has been patched since. So mm -hmm. there's things like that that I couldn't have picked, but the whole time through it, I felt like a child playing my favorite video game. With uh, with the pre-launch build that you had, did they still have Spider-Man's asshole in it? You know, when he bent over? Kind of yeah. like the butthole cut with cats? Yep. They had the full, like, the the split cut, as they call it, where his, his suit just ripped in half. And then yeah. all of New York saw his asshole. <laughs> when Venom goatsies himself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. When Venom went 19 inches deep. <laughs> it's my favorite part of Spider-Man 2. <laughs> sick. And Miles yeah, Morales I was like, yo, sick asshole, Pete. <laughs> sick asshole, Pete. He's going to wish he never oh. came to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to play it. I'm, I'm, uh, what, what I'm you a gotta do for... I'm going to give you the best case scenario because you're not going to do this. You're going to be like, oh, I should be working on videos. Oh, I should go out and like hang out with these people, help out these people, film the thing. You're going to plan a day off for yourself. You're going to get some beers. You're going to get some of your favorite snacks. You're going to go into like your theater room or your living room and you're just going to take a day off and you're going to play Spider-Man all day. The whole thing. Good. Well, maybe, not, maybe not the whole thing. Play like four or five not hours in a row. It's like, turn off your yeah. brain. Give yourself some me time. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think that's a real good and idea. And I feel like if you don't plan it, you're not going to do it. I feel that's like you. True. I feel like you're going to procrastinate your own time off. You know what? You know what? What? Wednesday. Wednesday? Tuesday? That is, that is a day. Uh, Tuesday. This next Tuesday is my birthday. Oh, yeah. And maybe... Because I don't have plans until the evening. <clears throat> so maybe during my birthday, I'll wake up and I'll go, mm, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man, where are you? Come on, Pete, where are you? Me Come looking at Spider-Man's asshole. <laughs> Spider-Man. There he is. <laughs> 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 That's what I'll do. On my birthday, I will do that. Yeah. Play Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Ah. Oh. God, I'm so excited. I'm I I love cosmetics and that was like one of my favorite things mm. about the Spider-Man games is collecting all the different suits and stuff. Oh, dude, there's some fucking uh, bangers in this one. I love it so much. I, I almost got it. to make a suit for Spider-Man game as really? part of a brand deal, yeah. They came to me and talked about it and I was like, "Yeah, that sounds like a really fucking awesome thing to do." And then they sent me what it was and I was like, "That doesn't sound that cool." 
So now it's like Sad. you'll see people like Lando Norris and Rina Sawayama doing it, and I was like, mm -hmm. could have been me. Could have been you. Could have been. Damn. That would have been cool, though, to have Spider-Man. They also wanted it done suit. really fast, and I was like, oh, we just got BB back from the clinic, and I don't want to have to, like... Like, my brain's not in a creative space right now. How... Wait, so... I don't know how much you're allowed to talk about it, but, like, how... What was the process of that like? Were they like, here's a little template... Like, was it was it like a coloring book? Were they like, color this and this, whatever color you I want? I wish, because that would have been really handy, but they just sent guidelines for, like, what you're not allowed to put in. Like, you can't, like, mm. change the dimensions of things. You can't add, like, fucking big streamers coming out of his back or things that will actually add, like, technicality to the character. Mm. Um, and it was going to be like, you have a suit in real life, and then you put it in the game. And I was like, mm. man, that sounds awesome, but... It's just, it's just bad timing and the things they wanted me to do. I was like, I, I don't have the time or desire to do all of this, so I will just do none of it. I was like, as long as I can play the game, I'll be happy. <laughs> and you've done it. And I've done it. You've played the game. Second episode went up today. Absolute banger. Hell, hell I have the yeah, series finished definitely. already, which is weird because I finished it all before the game even came out. And now I'm like, now what do I do? <laughs> Now you just chill, baby. Fucking and day, you. day chilling like a villain in Spider Man. His name is Ugh. Venom, and he'll kick your ass, and he'll eat your ass, dude. Thanks, he got Venom. a fucking tongue on deep him. In my ass, he do have that crazy tongue, and it can go any direction you want. Mm, it can be anything you want. Symbiote tongue. It's gonna change shape. Oh damn! I've been That's thinking crazy. about. Things to like 3D print and paint. And I was thinking about Venom, like he's cool, but I'm like, you just get black all over him and then you paint the thing white and that's it. It's very boring. <laughs> yeah. It would be very simple. But you could the model could be really cool. Or yeah. you could you could spice it up yourself and be like, This is my take on Venom. Mm. He's pink now. I I did download a file to paint Vivi from Final Fantasy Nine. His little blue jacket and his little hat. He's so cute. I can't wait to do that. Hell yeah. That'd be sick. Limitless poss possibilities. Limitless, li limitless. Limit, like Bradley Cooper, limitless. Bradley Cooper, limitless. What do you have to say about it, Bradley? Hey, my name's Bradley Cooper. This is limitless. <laughs> it was so good. It was like the movie in which I went limitless in. And then I was in Star Is Born and I was like, I just want to look at you, Lady Gaga. That movie's so sad. Movie. I didn't watch it. Is it uh, good? It's good, but it's fucking miserable. <laughs> but the Which is like, I, I get that. I'm, I'm a fan of miserable movies and like things making me cry and feeling feelings, but maybe just the subject matter in general didn't affect me as much. Mm. But I did bawl my eyes out at the end and I'm like, man, this is a fucking bummer. <laughs> Oh, this is just the bummer of a movie. But I did like when she got Ooh, up on stage and went, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I always see people do that song in karaoke, and I'm like, how do you remember which ho she does at what point? Because it just seems like she <laughs> improved all of those. <laughs> oh, those, those, those are good hauls. <laughs> yeah, she like goes Very full goose hauls. mode. <laughs> Lady, goose Lady Gaga. Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Honk Honk Am Goose. <laughs> oh, well, but Bradley Cooper was in it and he did say like, up. you're my star and you, you was born right now. You're my goose. You're my goose goose. Lady Goose Goose. Yeah. It's one mm. of those movies that Bradley Cooper is so good in, but you don't think he's acting. You just think that he's really depressed and miserable. <laughs> And there's like uh, a scene where they get an award and he's just up on stage and he pisses himself and I'm like, this I can't watch this. This is so <laughs> uncomfortable. It's like watching Scott's tots all over again. But if Scott could have <laughs> pissed himself. Oh, God. Uh, I haven't thought about Scott's tots in a long time. That I think is, that's my Roman <laughs> Empire. <laughs> oh, oh man, Scott's tots. I, Fuck. Do you think those guys in the TikToks are faking it? I don't think about the Roman Empire. I, I, I'm really glad you brought this up. I don't think about it ever. Do I think about the Roman Empire? 
I think so. I think some of those girlfriends were like, oh, we're going to do the meme about the Roman Empire, so I'm just going to come in and start filming you, and then you say that you think about it a lot. And then they do that. Yeah. Or some guys get it, and they're like, oh, I'll go in on the bit. I don't think about the I, Roman Empire. I can't think of the last time that I genuinely thought about the Roman Empire. It's all sham. Everything that you see on the internet is a lie. No one's bullshit. telling the truth. I, it's all bullshit. I think... I think about Warhammer. I think about the Imperium of Man more than I think about the Roman Empire. I, God, I don't think about the Roman Empire. I think about, uh, I don't know. I I probably I, I think about eating think ass about. more than I think about the Roman Empire. Hey, here's a question. Yes, when, even <laughs> in the back. When somebody's like, uh, quick, first word that comes to your mind. I always have the same word, which is, is corn. It? Corn? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why that is the word, but it's always like corn. Mm -hmm. Well, now because yeah. you've associated the word association game with corn. It's like when someone says yeah. cat and you say dog, like you just associate uh -huh. certain things together. Mm -hmm. What if I said oh, we money? Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> we, should, we should try the thing real quick to end this bad boy off. It's a trend that was going around for a bit where we both... We, we go three, two, one, we both say a word until we say the same word. Oh, and then you kind of like, I've played this in line with somebody where it's like you try it like, is it where you base whatever word we say? It's like, oh, I see where you're going. And then we try and get the uh -huh. same word. Okay. Three, two, one, corn. Dog. See, I was going to say corn, <laughs> but I knew that that would be way Ooh. too obvious that we would have got a first try and then the episode would have been over and that would be boring. Three, two, one, Pat. cheeseburger. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Three, two, one. Food. Store. Ooh, Ooh. not bad. Mm. Okay, you said store okay. and I said food. See, now I'm thinking, I'm not thinking of what naturally comes next. I'm no, because our brains what are don't you work going to say? normally. Yeah, our, and with both of us, it's a fucking wild card. You could go from store uh -huh. to fucking Vietnam next. <laughs> yeah. And not the country, just specifically the war. <laughs> <laughs> Store. What did you say? Food. Food? Okay. Okay, I got I got um, my word. My word is coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Shop. McDonald's. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Chain. Money. Oh, this is, this is like, dude, we'll go to bed when we win one. <laughs> like, we're never going yeah. to bed. Okay, ready? You said, I said chain, you said money. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Gold. Gold. Yes! Ah! Oh, we're so oh. fucking talented and handsome. We've done it. I knew it. I knew <laughs> as soon as you were like, oh, you said this? Let's, oh... That was really funny on <laughs> my end because of latency because it just sounds like you heard me say gold and then <laughs> said gold. <laughs> it's like playing rock, paper, scissors, waiting for your thing to go down and be like, no, I was rock the whole time. I was rock the whole time. You saw it. Uh, damn. Well, leakers. Go out and play that game with your friends game. to see if you really know each other. Mm -hmm. We got that one yeah, in five, six. It's pretty good. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Something like I that. I like that. I like that we leak together. I like that too. You know, those who leak together last forever. Hmm? Wow. How about how about that? How about that, leakers? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a wired microphone. I can be anywhere I want, all around. The, be the beautiful the Vegas hotel room that you're in. Mm -hmm. Kiss yourself in the mirror. Oh, yeah. Kiss myself in the mirror? This in frame too, for the people. This is this is too hot for... This is too hot for... Uh, this... Something. I don't know. Uh. Oh. Now if that's, this is Vegas. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like yeah, that I did that. You're married to that actually. mirror now. <laughs> oh, God. Well, what other substance has been on that mirror? <sighs> What if somebody was doing coke vertically up the wall? Now I have cocaine in my mouth. There's way go worse Twitch things Con. you could have in your mouth than coke in Vegas. Uh, you're 
you're right. But now I'm going to go to TwitchCon. I'm going to go through security. There's going to be the drug sniffing dog there, and he's going to say, You have cocaine in your mouth. And then I'm going to get let the, Twitch let the dog kicked out it. of. Let the dog get I'll get high. kicked out of TwitchCon, and I'll never be able to meet XQC. Too, too bad. Dude, if he can get in and people don't question if he has coke on him with the way he talks, then you're fine. That's true. This is true. Well, anyway, after that display you all... of true narcissism, uh, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> yep. Maybe see you next week. I don't know. I might die from whatever's on there. Could be peanuts on it. Ah! Well, you got an Epis nice pen. All of you. <laughs> I got two Epis pens over there. Wow. Anyway, this happens all the time. We never know how to wrap up an episode. So uh, see you later. Thanks for listening. Bye. Brain leak.